Hi, thanks for coming back and joining us. Now, if you watch part two of Breeding Chickens, you'll know that our young cockerel has started to trade the hens. Now, what we don't know is, firstly, is he fertile? Secondly, is he aiming correctly? So even if he is fertile, is he actually managing to get what he needs to get inside the chicken to fertilize the eggs? So we've picked out 10 of the hen's eggs and seven days ago we popped them inside the incubator and it's now been going during that time. What we should be able to see at this point is some development going on inside. Now to see that development, you might think we need to break open the egg. We don't need to do that at all. What we do instead is we candle them. And what I mean by candling is we use this little device and you've got a rubber ring on the top, pop the egg on top of there, press the on switch and this fantastic bright light comes out. Now people use very bright torches um, which can work just as well but this has a convenient way of sitting the egg on top so you can have a really good look at what's going on inside. I'll get on and test the eggs and let's have a look to see if we can see the difference between a fertilised egg and an unfertile egg. So this is egg number one. Now unfortunately this egg absolutely is not fertile but I just want to show you this one as comparison. So here you can see in this darker area this is, this is the yolk um, and the white is below. Now, the reason I know it's not fertile is that the yolk is a uniform colouring and it has not grown, it has not increased in size and what we should be seeing is changes in the density in that area and a thin web of blood vessels forming. So let's take a look at egg number two. There we go. Oh my goodness, this one absolutely is fertile. Hopefully you can see the difference from the first egg. The yolk is significantly larger and you'll be able to see changes in the density in the yolk area. I can see it much better away from the camera and the artificial light. There also is Thin. I don't know if you can see those thin vertical lines inside the egg. Now those are the beginnings of a network of blood vessels that are actually forming. So this egg absolutely fertile. So that's good news. So let's go back and pick egg number three. Oh dear. This is another non-fertile egg unfortunately. So again, a very light colour on the yolk at the top. It's small, it's not developed, it's a uniform colour. So let's go for egg number four. Oh, now that is a thing of beauty. That absolutely has begun to develop. So this is another fertile egg. I think you can see that there are differences in the density in the yolk area and it is significantly larger than the yolk in egg number three and egg number one so it is fertile. Now I'm going to carry on and check the rest of these eggs so stick around and I'll give you the results in just a moment. I've now tested the 10 eggs and there is good news for us and there's bad news for us. Now the good news is that five are fertile the bad news is that five weren't fertile. Now at a 50% fertilization rate, that has a major cash flow impact on the uh, chickens. The chickens need to be self-supporting. So what that means is whatever we sell in terms of point of lay or fertilized eggs has to pay for the chicken feed. At 50% fertilisation rate, we cannot sell fertilised eggs. That's not fair on our buyers. They're expecting to receive eggs and be able to hatch the majority of those eggs out after either putting them in the incubator or putting them under a broody hen. So that income stream at this stage is gone. Now, it could be that Cogburn is just not aiming correctly. Clearly, he's fertile because we've got five fertilised eggs. It could be that he's just taking a little bit of time to get his acrobatics right and to actually aim in the right place. So um, what we need to do now is put another set of eggs in the incubator and test again in seven days time. 
two possible outcomes there. 50% fertilisation again. Now, if that is the case, when a broody hen goes to sit on eggs, we will give her some dummy eggs for a seven day period. In the meantime, we will put 24 eggs in the incubator. After seven days, we will test the 24 eggs and take the 12 uh, fertile eggs out, take the dummy eggs out and put the fertile eggs under her so we know that there's a good chance of hatching the majority of that clutch. So even if you have broody hens and you want to raise chicks naturally as we do, still a good idea to have an incubator. The second outcome is that the fertility rate has gone up. Um, and that would be wonderful. And actually, that's the best case scenario for us. There's potential to sell fertilised eggs. And it also means that we don't have to worry when a broody hen goes to sit, we can just give eggs to her. We don't need to turn the incubator on. We don't need to mess about with dummy eggs. It's the most straightforward way for us to raise the chicken. So we're still in a little bit of limbo at this stage. Um, and I think you're starting to see that the breeding season is actually full of fraught little decisions and ups and downs and you just got to go with the flow and see how it comes but we'll take you with us this year and I hope you keep following the, the series. Don't forget to rate and comment and we look forward to seeing you again in seven days time.